Yo, what's good, Sneaker Log? It's your boy O Check. I'm back in with another sneaker video. Hopefully, everybody been cool since the last video. This right here is going to be a little quick discussion topic. As you can see on my Walmart's website. And man, look what it is Air Jordan 3 Retro True Blue. Ready to go at Walmart, man. Now, check it out. I've been known that they were selling Jade for about a year, year and a half or so. I remember when I first ran across like some whack Jades they had up on there. I was surprised. I was like, damn, Walmart trying to step it up a little bit. I, I ain't never even seen Nikes, let alone Jordans on these stuff. That was the first time I had seen it. Then I remember I started to see, like, I think I started to see, like, Mellows and what's the other shoe? Uh, CP3s, I think. But, you know, colorways I went into and stuff like that. You know, but it was a still, a, you know, an improvement for them. And uh, I don't even think a lot of people knew about it because I don't remember too many people talking about it and stuff like that. I told a few people. Then I started to see uh, retros on there. I think I seen the 14s, the black and yellow joints. I was like, okay, check them out. And then I, I want to say they sell them, when they sell their retro, they selling them for under retail. Like I, when I saw retros, I was like, hold up, man. They got retros on there. They had like some retros that I bought they had on there. You know what I'm saying? Like I had bought in the store. They were selling them for cheaper, I think. So that kind of caught me off guard. Um, I know they would have like kid sizes and stuff, but they had they had adult sizes too. But this is the first time I seen something like this though, you know. And I know retros had been sitting for a little bit, so I, that might have been one contribution to it. But I never seen this where. First of all, this is a big release, you know. Like this is a big release. This is the Black Friday release for this year, and on top of that. They they selling it early. Like, they really are the Waltons, like, trying to tap into the culture. Like, they trapping early releases. You feel me? Like, this could really throw a monkey wrench in the game for a lot of people. And I'll, t I'll t kind of tell you why in a little bit. And, you know, it might, it might not. But, but yeah, this is different because, and look at that ticket price, three ninety nine, And then you see, it looks like they got a little plug or somebody. Or they, they done partnered up with somebody because... You see, you say shit by Soul Unlimited. My guess, what I think this is, is that they done partnered up. They got a little plug out there because you got to remember, they plugged up with factories out there too in China. So they probably plugged up with a little company like this. Probably, you know, that's a legit little little front. You feel me? Soul Unlimited. They probably got a plug with a, you know, like in, with a factory that makes J's for, um, for Nike or whatever. And um, it could be surplus, or it could be, you know, something that they, you know, because I've heard, like, there's, these factories make a lot of the shoes, and who knows what they're supposed to do with them. Now, the, the paperwork could be legit, and they could be legit to sell them, and Nike won't go after them. But, you know, as far as the way we look at things, because I'm wondering why Walmart doesn't have a Nike account. Like, that's a rich company. Like, why would they have to go through these people to sell J's? You understand what I'm saying? Like, why would they have to do that? So, I think, I don't know. I You know, it's, it's kind of weird, but at the same token, I feel like they're smart enough to know. I hope they're smart enough to know not to be trapping. I hope they're not trying to trap UAs on on folk. You feel me? Especially for that price, that'd be crazy. So I think they got their ducks in a row when they get touched in the water with this company. You know what I'm saying? This little little company as the plug, and see how it can go. I'm sure they got the shoes for a player price, and you know what I'm saying they just trying to get what they can get off of them. You feel me? So this is interesting to me because I know it's a lot of people out here selling shoes and. You know, there's sellers come and go, but if a big company like this, a big American company, come and tap into that that market, they can change the game because they can, if they like what they see with the profits, buy more shoes. And then guess what? When they get that that um, inventory, guess what they can do? Drop prices and compete with y'all, and people are going to start messing with them for they mess with you, or you got to drop your price, and then there goes your profit. And then, you know, it's it's just, 
it'll be crazy if that happens. But that's just me talking. I don't really know too much about all that there. But I tell you what, I didn't know that. I'm, this is the first time me seeing this. Walmart selling an early release. The, it, the game has come so far that the Walters is trying to tap into our culture, man. Crazy. But that's it, man. That's it. Leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about this. Man, <laughs> I think it's funny, but it's cool, though. You know what I mean? You can actually check these out if you want to. Like, go on the website. You can actually check them out and shit, ring them up, and they'll be at your door by next week. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, man. Uh, leave me a comment down in the comment box. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel for more videos. Share my channel with your friends. And hit that thumbs up button. If you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. More videos to come. And, you know, hey, shit, hopefully this was... I ain't seen nobody really talk about this on the network, so that's why I wanted to put this up as a discussion topic. So... Leave me, a, leave me a little comment down in the comment box. I appreciate that. And in the meantime and in between time, y'all be cool. Yo, go check out my video. I just dropped of these. I did a little video of these right here. Um, I don't know if I showed y'all this, but no Jumpman on the back on these. So I'm just not sure if they trying to sell the Black Friday release pair or the 2011 pair. So it looks like they just use stock photos. And they, you know, I don't know exactly. My guess is that these are supposed to be Black Friday pairs, though. Because it wouldn't make sense. It definitely wouldn't make sense if they tried to, you know say hit hit folk with the okie doke. But, shit, they look like they just tapping, you know what I'm saying, tapping into the market, trying to see what it does. But, yeah, let me know down in the comment box. In the meantime, in between time, y'all be cool. Always remember, copy you light, not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.